great day, especially here at Redstone Arsenal in the great city of Huntsville, in Madison County, and Sweet Home, Alabama as well. And as I stated in the oath just taken, I accept this position freely. But I'd like to also add, I accept it with a great deal of humility and gratitude and also confidence. I'm truly humbled to have been selected to continue to serve the Army as a Major General and to lead the soldiers of the, and the civilians of the U.S. Army Contracting Command. This is a day that I probably never could have dreamed of as I was a freshman cadet at Virginia Tech dragging the halls at the, the position of very rigid attention. Or even a few years later, as I led the regimental band across the parade field. Back then, I had very little inkling of how a career in the U.S. military would impact my life. All I knew, as General I said, was that on the advice of my father, I was headed off to Virginia Tech to become the third generation of Harrison cadets there. The path I've taken from then until now has been really incredible. Looking back over the past 33 years, it's evident to me that I would not be standing here today if it were not for that fatherly advice, some great Army assignments, great soldiers and Army civilians, great bosses, hard work, but also a good measure of luck. In fact, I'm further humbled when I think of the high caliber of Army officers, many just as deserving, who never received this awesome opportunity. And I'm also grateful because I do know how I got here. It's because of many in this room, and also many others that couldn't be here today. It's because you were able to see beyond my quirks, to see the diamond in the rough. Y'all took a shot at polishing me. Sometimes this was done with a polishing cloth, sometimes it was done with a wire brush. But overall, it was extreme, you were extremely patient and understanding, and coaching and mentoring me in order to be a better teammate, a better boss, or a better officer. I'm also very grateful for all the talented and dedicated people I have served with and worked for, and the numerous battle buddies who kept me grounded and also encouraged me to have some fun along the way. I do need to take a minute to thank some very special people. First, I'd like to thank my parents for instilling in me from a very early age my Christian values, teaching me the benefits of hard work and education, and the warm embrace of a loving home. My parents used to have a painting in my room with the caption that especially resonates with me here today. There are two lasting bequests we can give our children. One is roots, and the other is wings. My dad's not here anymore, but I know 